My memory of Mr. Dave Butts. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg Sykes. Thank you for joining me. If you're new here, thank you for, really, thank you for, uh, well, not subscribing yet, but if you will, please, thank you for stumbling on this channel. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. Everybody, if you could, please consider subscribing to this channel. I uh, could use your subscriptions, and when you do, you probably want to hit that notification bell so you will know when I release a video. Uh, with that said, let's talk about Dave Butts. Now, I was lucky to have gotten to see the Redskins play during their glory years in the 1980s. And one of those guys that always intrigued me was defensive tackle Dave Butts. He always wore that scratched up helmet that looked like uh, it had been in a war. And I, I think that just made him even more intimidating. You know, Butts, it, that dude was great at stuff in the run. I mean, there were not too many runs up the middle that got past Dave Butts. <clears throat> and this past week, we lost Dave Butts. He was 72 years old. Much too young, in my opinion. And it seems like yesterday that I saw him out there on the field playing for the Redskins. You know, Blet Butts played for 16 seasons and most of those were with the Redskins. He was originally drafted by the St. Louis Cardinals in 1973 but he was granted free agency in 1975 after some weird error in his contract. So the, Re the Redskins, George Allen, he, he grabbed him up quickly. The rest was history. You know, Butts had a long and great career with Washington Redskins. I would say that I probably witnessed more of his twilight of his career than his, of course, his early on because I, would, I didn't come around until 1975. But uh, when I was old enough to really start paying attention to football, you know, Butts was already in his mid 30s. So I always felt that he was kind of like the elder statesman of the team. You know, I was like, oh, look at that old guy that's in the middle of there playing defense. But man, could he play defense. I tell you, Butts, he played until I think it was 1988. Um, you know, he, he retired after that. He, he did get two Super Bowl rings uh, with, um, with the Washington Redskins. I, I do remember um, this one little expert from the uh, watching the, the Americans, uh, America, the Americas game uh, about the uh, Super Bowls. This one featuring the 1982 Super Bowl team of the Washington Redskins, Joe Theismann would he would ride with Dave Butts to the games, and you know depending on what type of road kill that Dave Butts would uh, ride over <laughs> would determine what type of success that they were going to have in the game. You know, like if it was a large thump, he'd be like, "Yeah, going to be a great game," you know. Um, and recently, uh, Rick Snyder from Rick Snyder's Washington YouTube channel, who had, you know, he's been a, a beat reporter for Washington for a number of years. He would talk about how Butts hated talking to the media after games and so forth and would probably go out of his way to kind of intimidate them a little bit. But uh, he kind of took a liking to Rick. And I think Rick, you know, looked for, you know, things that they had in common and got to know Butts and realized that Butts was, was a great, great gentleman outside of football. Uh, I remember John Madden always talking about Dave Butts and, and how nothing ever got past him and how he'd sweat through anything, right? Of course, he also said the same thing about Joe Jacoby. But I'd always get a, a chuckle out of Mad Madden. <laughs> um, he would say something like, You look at old Big Butts right there in the middle. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm sure that Dave probably got ribbon, you know, some ribbon from his last name. But honestly, do you think there were many men who actually were big enough to make fun of Dave Butts? I mean, I mean, seeing guys like Dave Butts pass away makes me realize that those glory years were truly a long time ago. I mean, a few years back, we, we lost Mel Kaufman. 
And it wasn't that too long ago that we uh, lost Rich Malott. I mean, I remember these guys playing vividly. You know, um, to me, they were household names of the Redskins on defense. You know, just like Charles Mann and Dexter Manley and, you know, Daryl Green. You know, I remember these names. You know, and speaking of, of losing people, Joe Gibbs lost his other son, Coy Gibbs, this past week. You know, Coy was just 49 years old. Coach Gibbs, you know, he lost JD a few years back. He was also 49 years old. I mean, it's so odd that Coach Gibbs loses both of his sons at the age of 49. I mean, it's sad. It makes you really want to hold on to your loved ones, I tell you. It's just a little bit tighter each day when you hear news like this. My prayers definitely go out to the Gibbs family and the Butts family as well. You know, Butts wasn't a, f- a flashy player at all. He was a no-nonsense player. Like I said, you know, comes to work with that scratched-up helmet. I mean, he did his job so well. He was a big guy. I mean, I can only imagine. If I had gotten a chance to meet Dave Butts in person, I probably would have felt like I was meeting Andre the Giant. I mean, this guy looked big on TV. And, and we're talking about you know, TVs that were not HD TVs back then, right? I mean, this guy just seemed so large. Um, yeah, it's so sad to hear about the passing of Dave Butts. Um, you know, it, it just feels like another piece of my childhood gone. Uh, whenever I especially hear about uh, players from those old Redskins teams passing away, I mean, it's just, it's it's really sad. Um but, you know, it, that's life. Life is so short, and, you know, you just you really have to make sure that you live it to its fullest. Um, rest in peace, Mr. David Butts. Uh, you will be missed. You are loved. Um, take care. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.